there is pain that is coming. Yes, a huge server pain that is coming. Hello, everyone, and I want to come into the gospel with Ishmael. Listen, as much as there are ministers, especially evangelists, who would come and preach against the sin and say, stop sinning, and they say, I won't come and uh, uh, bambatella you and make you feel like, you know, this uh, is it pat you on the back on all these things. I'm going to tell you as it is. Uh, allow me to tell you that there is severe pain that is coming. God Almighty is angry. He gets angry and is angry, can get angry, will be angry. Listen to me very well right now. They persecute you. They come against you while you are innocent. I'm talking about innocent. If you are not innocent, then uh, this word is not for you, definitely. But I want to talk to you when you are being persecuted for not doing anything wrong. It is not a matter of you saying, oh, Lord, I forgive them. Listen, whatever is to come their way will come, whether they like it or not. The same way in which at times you say, God, strike my enemies and he does not. It is the same way in which when you say, don't strike my enemies and he keeps on striking them. Even though you said no, because the Lord judges, measures up according to whether he has given them a chance to repent or not. Their sins are not yet complete. Genesis chapter 15. So there is a measurement and you say, now you have done enough is enough. That's why there's a term called enough. It means God has scaled everything and said, no, this can't go any longer. And now I'm coming. And just right now, I'm telling you, anybody that has been coming against you, I'm giving them a final warning. I pray for them, in fact, that may they repent. May God give them one more chance. May he visit them and give them, offer them an opportunity to repent. And as they reject, let anything that comes their way come because it seems like they will never stop until, until they see you down. Therefore, let us pray together that in Jesus' mighty name, may God give them a final chance to repent. If they refuse, let him deal with them accordingly. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.